7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, booster ignition, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour. As Shuttle Endeavour heads towards the International Space Station, it carries on board a pair of super-cold freezers designed and built by UAB. The cryogenic freezer design is called Glacier, and it will boost the biological research capacity of the shuttle and the space station. Inside the space station, they maintain an ambient environment for the crew members so they can work in a shirt sleeve type of environment. So you've got to have cold stowage for these samples. So Glacier is providing that capability to the crew members aboard the station to have that preservation capability. Each freezer, capable of minus 160 degrees Celsius, holds laboratory trays, test tubes, and other research containers used for space-based experiments. So why does it need to be so cold? A good example that I heard of that was, you take a look and occasionally they'll find a caveman that's been frozen inside of a glacier for thousands or tens of thousands of years, and they'll comment on how well that body was preserved due to the cold temperatures. Well, glaciers are going to provide the same capability to the biological samples that are being harvested on the station until they can be brought down. The Endeavour flight is the first for the Glacier project part of a NASA contract awarded to UAB in 2005. The nice thing about Glacier is it is certified, each unit is certified for 10 launch and landing cycles. So the end of the shuttle will not be the end of the Glacier flights because we've already started planning on integrating it into the European vehicle, the Japanese vehicle, and actually the follow-on American vehicle, which is called the Orion capsule. Mm -hmm.